Add housing.com leads to Google Sheets automatically. So if you have listed your real estate property on housing.com from where you are getting lot of leads but you are unable to track those leads in real time. So in this video I'll show you whenever a new real estate lead is captured from housing.com the same lead will be instantly and automatically added to your Google Sheets as well. Yes you do not have to do anything manually. Simply set an automation in these two application and sit back and relax because that automation will automatically collect your real estate leads in your Google Sheets and now you can easily access and follow up and track those leads directly from your spreadsheet. Want to learn how you can also automate this? Come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So I have already listed my property on housing.com and whatever the leads I am getting I want to add those leads instantly in my spreadsheet as well. So to automate this whole lead collection process firstly I will have to build an integration, build a connection in this housing.com and google sheets application which I am going to do with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just a 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay. So I have directly pasted the name as add housing.com leads to google sheets automatically okay I'm really sorry for that okay. Now I will select the folder so I want to create this automation workflow in this main folder so I'll be selecting the same now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so now according to our use case I want that whenever any new lead is captured from housing.com application then automatically collect that lead in google sheets application okay so that is why i am going to select both the application basically i am selecting these two application in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is firstly i will connect housing.com with the public connect and will capture all the leads here basically in the dashboard of public connect and then i will connect public connect with the google sheet and will send all the lead data here. So let us first connect housing.com with the Pabli Connect ok. So here you can notice as soon as I have selected the trigger event it has provided me a webhook URL. So with the help of this URL only we are going to build this connection. Now how you can build this connection. So basically firstly you will have to click on this capture webhook response button and after that you will have to reach out to your account manager from the housing.com. Yes, Yes, they are going to paste this webhook URL in your housing.com account and in this way you will be able to capture those housing.com leads inside the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here also you can notice clearly written that contact support so that webhook response is captured here when they set the webhook for you. Okay, So I hope everything is clear and you can read the instructions carefully. Okay, So give me a second let me contact to my account manager and once they will set this webhook for me whatever the lead will be arrived that lead data will be captured here as a webhook response okay so I'll come back give me few minutes so here you can notice the response is received and this is just a dummy data here you can notice it is a dummy phone number the dummy last name the dummy first name the dummy email and the city okay so my objective is just to show you how this type of connection this type of automation can be created so that is why I will proceed with some dummy details only in your case of course you will proceed with the real details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between how 
housing dot com and Pabli Connect is working absolutely fine. Okay, so now onwards, what will happen? Every time a new lead is captured from housing dot com, that lead will be instantly captured via Pabli Connect because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Okay, so in this way, the first step of our automation is done. Now moving further, I am going to send this lead data directly to Google Sheets. Okay, so the application is already selected here now i will select the action even that is add new row and just like we have firstly connected housing.com with pabli connect now i will connect my google sheets with the pabli connect okay so simply click on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your google account but because i have provided this access multiple times so instead of going with the new connection i'll go with the existing connection clicking on save and this is how my google sheets account will be immediately connected with the pabli connect and if you want you can also go with the existing connection but just make sure that in the first time you provide the access of your google sheets okay so here you can notice we are connected and because we are connected whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my google sheets account have started visible here and this was the most recent sheet i have created in my account so that is why it is visible at the top and it is the same spreadsheet that is real estate leads collected via housing.com okay so let me select the same and here in the sheet also i have a single sheet only so again it has got selected automatically and as soon as you select the spreadsheet and sheet here whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet these column names will be fetched here automatically as the field so here you can notice the lead name lead email phone number and city here also you can notice the lead name lead email email phone number and city okay so currently i am adding only few basic details in my spreadsheet it is completely up to you that what lead information you would like to collect in your spreadsheet you can customize your spreadsheet as per your choice as per your requirement okay now you tell me from where i am going to provide the data in these fields so remember we have already captured our leads from housing.com okay and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this lead data and paste below again and again i am going to map the above data okay and mapping is very simple simply click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down simply select that data okay so let me first select the first name now i will give a space and again i will map the last name okay so in the same way i will map the data in other fields also but you must be thinking what is this mapping so whatever the details we are mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time okay and whatever the details we have provided here manually or either from the drop down those details will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values manually and in providing the values via mapping okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so i hope you have understood everything and again with every new incoming lead these details will be replaced automatically okay now finally i'll click on this button and now the response will be received here and here you can notice this response is positive that means the data the lead data is already added to my spreadsheet and here you can notice this is that most recent lead which i have got from housing.com okay so in this way in real time you can capture your housing.com leads directly to your google sheets and in this way you can keep a track record of all the leads directly from your spreadsheet now you do not have to log in to your housing.com again and again you can even share this spreadsheet with all your team members now you do not have to share the access of your housing.com with all your team members okay so i hope you have understood everything and if you are thinking that you you need to follow this process again and again then you are absolutely wrong simply set this workflow inside pabli connect once and after that you can sit back 
and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually, okay? And just in case if you want to access this two-step workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account, I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box. So simply click on this link and sign up for free into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access the same two-step workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.